Good morning and welcome to this edition of the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. I know, you know, this is kind of like that weekend after Thanksgiving. You can breathe. You've been running around all week. You've been probably eating the last couple days, but we have a lot of food for you to digest for the mind today. A little bit later on the program, Hugh Price, the former national uh, executive director, president of the National Urban League is gonna be here. He's gonna be talking about his new book. And we're gonna begin today with another book. It is Charged with a Crime in Western Pennsylvania, question mark. The author, Frank C. Walker II is here. Welcome. Thank you, thanks for having me, thanks for having me. So let's go, before we talk about the book in okay. particular, let's okay. give folks, I mean, because folks have seen you on TV. Okay. They see you outside the courthouse doing interviews about a client that you represented. Okay. Um, but you have been a part of the Pittsburgh legal community for years. For years, yes. I moved, my wife and I moved here in 2000. Mm -hmm. Went to law school at WVU. Okay. And I worked at the Office of Conflict Counsel, worked for a small firm after that, and then I opened my own firm in 2011. So I've been doing it ever since. Now, you do a lot of criminal defense work. Yes. Was that something that you set out to do? Was that a calling that you had, or did you just kind of land there? No, it was definitely a calling, because okay. I think it's an awesome responsibility to stand up for someone else, uh -huh. be able to speak on their behalf when they're not able to, or they don't want to, or they don't know how to. And I think that's an awesome responsibility that we as criminal defense attorneys have. I mean, often we've been called the gatekeepers to the Constitution, because, you know, if that people go unchecked mm -hmm. and they can do whatever they want to. They can search, they can seize without anyone, with any, without any checks or balances. So it's our job as criminal defense attorneys to step in and say, well, you did that wrong. No, this is how you're doing. This mm -hmm. is how it should be done. You ran afoul of this law or that law and you're speaking on behalf of a client. So that to me, that's, that's, that's my calling. So what I love about your book, Charged with a Crime in Western Pennsylvania, is that um, this is one of those things that everybody thinks they're an expert on. Oh, yeah. Man, if you get arrested, yep. you should. Right. Oh, yeah. If they pick you up, they stop yeah. you, don't do. Right. Um, but in your book, you're very clear cut about what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Yes. I mean, I say this all the time. People ask me, you know, what do you do when you get stopped by police? Mm -hmm. And my main singular advice is to just get home. Your main job is just to get home at that point. The book talks about that. The book talks about why you need an attorney. I'm, I'm advocating, obviously, that I'm an attorney and my mm -hmm. services. Right. But I'm not saying, you know, call me. Call any criminal defense attorney who's experienced in your area because you're going to need an attorney. Stop running your mouth. Stop thinking you can do everything yourself. Mm -hmm. Stop talking to other people who are not attorneys or who are attorneys who don't practice criminal defense. Stop looking online. That's just the absolute worst, <laughs> going online and saying, well, I looked on YouTube and YouTube said do this. Uh -huh. No, just talk to an attorney. That's the main premise of the book. Talk to an attorney. All right, so now let me back up. When you say, if you get stopped by the police, yes. your primary focus should be to get, get home. home. Get home so to your family. So what does that mean? Okay, so you get stopped by police. I'm not asking you, why you stop me? Let me get my phone, I'm filming you. No, I got the right to film you. No, your job is to get home. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Whatever you need to do to get home, call an attorney after that. Then you can fight about the irregularities or why they stop you or mm -hmm. whether or not it was a, a bad stop. You can argue about that all later, but you can't argue. I mean, really, you can't argue if you're in jail or, or you're somewhere else because you decided at that point in time you wanted to resolve the conflict. Mm -hmm. There's a time and place for everything. And a lot of times you're stopped in the middle of the night somewhere arguing with police. You're not going to win that fight. Mm -hmm. You're just not. So would you say, and I've heard uh, other attorneys say this, your best line of advice is don't answer questions, just do as they want, and then ask for an attorney. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because you get people, <laughs> it's funny, because when they're stopped by police and they finally they get to you and you're asking all the questions, you're asking and probing, well, what happened? What did you say? Well, then I just told him what happened. I ain't doing anything wrong. I didn't have anything in my car. Yeah, I let them search. What do you mean you let them search? Mm -hmm. What do you mean you told them what happened? Oh, yeah, I just went down to the station, told them everything. Okay, if that worked, why are you charged? Why are you sitting here needing my services? Mm -hmm. okay. Because be quiet, call an attorney, fight about it later. But here's the thing. Yes. <laughs> okay, and I'm sure you've heard that uh, yeah. before. Here's but the here's thing. the thing. Yeah, I know. Here's the thing. <laughs> Most people do believe if I didn't do anything wrong, 
nothing can happen to me. But yeah. you can get caught up. Yes, you absolutely can. You may think in your mind at this point in time, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm good. Uh -huh. But you may not know where your car has been or where your luggage has been or where your clothes have been or where you have been earlier that may still have remnants of that position mm, later on. Okay. Now all of a sudden they're smelling something that you thought, wait a minute, I didn't, I didn't do anything today, uh -huh. but you smoked yesterday. Now all of a sudden they have probable cause because they smell something. Now all of a sudden they're getting into a car, now they're searching, now they're telling you, oh well, we smell something, you're lying to me. Now you're defensive. No, I'm not. You're calling me a liar, I'm a cop. I'm not calling you a liar. Mm. Now you're back and forth, back and forth where you don't want to be. Your job is to be quiet, get home, call a lawyer. We gotta take a commercial break, but I wanna get this one last question in before sure, the break. Sure, sure. Because the other thing is, so often people are stopped for random reasons, yes. Yes. and then it escalates from there. Yes. Officers try to do their best to de-escalate. I mm -hmm. see them do it all the time. But a lot of times, in their position, if someone's being defensive, Say, asking these questions, telling them, I ain't doing this, I'm not stepping out the car, why I gotta step out the car? They're thinking, what are you hiding? Okay. What's in the car? Why don't you wanna do what I'm asking you to do? And then it becomes back and forth, you're not gonna win that fight. You're not gonna win that fight. No. So much more to talk about. The book is charged with a, car, a crime in Western Pennsylvania. Frank C. Walker is our guest, he's the author, he's the attorney. We'll be right back.